So here we are in Waldorf, Maryland on another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. My name is Purcell and I'm standing here right next to a proud owner of the Tesla solar roof and I met her. Believe it or not, I had the nerve to knock on her door. She didn't know me and I didn't know her and she got the solar roof last year, right? Yes. And so uh, she doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm not going to put her on camera. <laughs> and she was nice enough to come out here. But I just want to do a follow up with you like a year after the solar roof. So how you like it so far? I love it, actually. Um, I mean, I'm able to track how much power is actually going to the grid, how much power is actually going to my house. And I'm able to adjust the different settings to manage it where during off peak hours, I'm able to utilize the energy that I gathered during the daytime like at night mm -hmm. so i'm pretty much covered in the daytime i'm pretty much covered by the sun and um through the solar roof but then in the evening my power walls back me up and take me from the evening to the morning so i'm very excited about it uh the savings has been amazing definitely definitely <laughs> worth sure. it <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure so how many power walls do you have I have two power walls. Oh, see, smart woman, you don't have something like I know some people. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I do have two, but I wish I would have gotten at least one more. And that's just because I I have a pool in the back and a mm -hmm. heater that I run constantly. Mm -hmm. So I wish I would have got one just to um, run like my heater on my pool mm -hmm. and my Tesla charger. That way, both of them could be fully powered. Because mm -hmm. right now, my, you know, in case of the um, power was to go out completely, I will be able to survive three days but off my power walls, but it would only charge my car to 75%, which will probably bring my days down to one if I'm driving the car. I see. So that's why I wish I would have went with one more power wall, just designated for the for the charger for my car mm -hmm. and the pool heater. Okay, so uh, you have a Tesla, well, you have a Model S? What do Model you have? S, You yes. have an S, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, two, two quick questions. One, what have you learned well, you actually told me your learning experience, but if something would come up in my, in your mind and say, man, I should have did this versus that other than a power wall, what would it be? Uh, why, not <laughs> <laughs> why not sooner? That's, right. That's true. That's true. Um, now, but no, no, no. The experience was totally, totally good. The guys that came out and actually did the solar roof, they were very professional. Mm -hmm. they, they cleaned up every day, like customer service was awesome any questions I had they was out they was able to I was able to reach out to them mm -hmm. so I love the look I stand out in the neighborhood like yes, people ride by and yes. it's like I know where your house yes, is yes because you so, see that I see mostly solar panels here but also too most of people don't have even solar panels but you're the only one in this neighborhood right that has a solar roof exactly um how long did it take them to install because my friend who who lives about three miles from us took about two weeks How about yes you? exactly about two, about weeks? two weeks about two weeks okay now, and I, and, yeah about two weeks roughly because i also had the gutters and everything replaced on the home that's what i was I going to ask you yes um but yeah on average about two weeks now the last question he said that um in the winter time did you have to make sure that if it was icy and you wouldn't get hit by a sheet of yes. ice yes <laughs> so in the winter time when it snows and it's very icy mm -hmm. the ice and snow does not sit on my roof so therefore it's going to make the the roof uh, lifespan lasts longer so right, you would drive right, through and right. ice and snow would just roll completely off the roof right. and just you know fall straight down and if you was to come through all the other houses will have snow and ice on the roof but the Tesla roofs there's something about the technology that they have that right. all the ice just comes straight down did you have to get long uh, longer gutters I did have to get is, longer gutters is that what I, I'm seeing right there like on the on the top of your first part is it like a little level lip there yes exactly to try to block okay. some of the ice from like falling straight yeah. down yeah. If okay wants to walk okay all right uh, I did say that was the last question, but I do have one more. Theoretically, you are off the grid almost all day. Almost all day, especially now that we're into the summer months. Mm -hmm. I'm literally almost off the grid. And any like extra power that I consume during the day goes goes back to the grid. Mm -hmm. And the power company actually buys that from me. So I will receive a bill that I'm negative $365. Right, right, right. So, and I can take that on the days that it's not as sunny or right. that I actually have to pull a little power from the power company i'm right. covered right and you got so. you got to take like me i get credit back you get uh, a once, credit exactly a year, that's why i say you got okay. that mm -hmm. well thank you so much and christy we is a retired uh veteran boo because i'm <laughs> no, retired no, no, army no. <laughs> but thank you so much for uh, uh standing out here in the heat and i know you got some stuff to do so thank you so much thank you